Yes, I, Mr. Porber Jack, have finally obtained the demo to Sonic Mania, and I can say it's pretty awesome. Honestly, the second the game drops you into the actual Green Hill Zone itself, the game looks fantastic. Although, there are a couple of gripes I have with the graphics, though. Everything looks like it's been downgraded. Like the first time we saw Sonic Boom with the Cry Engine, but then they ended up showing that stuff on Wii U and it just didn't look that good. Oh, sorry, that's Sonic Dash 2 for the Android and iOS. But still, texture wise, is there any difference? Now, trust me, I know what you guys are most concerned about. You want to know about the new moves like the Drop Dash. Well, actually, there's two in this case. Not only is the drop dash a good way to build up speed on the go, you've also got the side dash that honestly works at random points in time. Now there's times upon getting attacked that you can use it in your invincibility frames which is pretty sweet. But there's sometimes when that stuff really doesn't work and I think it's glitchy to say the least. Also there's another thing that's glitchy about this game. What is up with the screen? What is going on up there? Well, I guess this is meant to emulate Genesis style gameplay from the 1991 days. But when I said I wanted instant shields and special stages back, I didn't mean to piss port frame rate. But hey, this is what classic Sonic fans want, so I can't really argue, I guess. Now, if there's a tradition for Sonic getting anything right, is the music. The music? Oh god, the music. You guys hear this, right? I mean, yeah, they are trying to emulate the classic days, but they went too far back. It sounds like it came from a Game Boy. Hey, and I'm not saying that every Game Boy has terrible music. I mean, come on, Sonic Advance. That was pretty good, right? The real Sonic fan, I have no idea who you are, but I hope your footage is worth using. Now, I am not the OCD of all C, but honestly, what I know is that a game should look original no matter what. Now, I'm not saying that Sonic Mania looks bad or anything, and I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all, and especially Sonic's new redesign looks stunning. It looks perfect. It looks fantastic. Definitely something that I'd like to put on my wall. Me, personally, I just don't want another Sonic 1, because that's wasting my money. And you guys know I don't like to waste money. I mean, look at this thing. The special stages are exactly like Sonic 1. It doesn't make sense, you know? I mean, credit me for getting 50 rings on this super hard stage. In fact, can I talk about that for a second? The difficulty spike is definitely a new one. Hell, I don't remember Sonic being this hard at all. I mean, what do you expect? It's the full game. Yes, I'm sorry, I didn't mention this earlier, but since I made that video about getting a Sonic demo, Sega! Sega actually responded. They gave me the full game. Although, that did come with some kind of consequence. The game is freaking hard for a reason. Plus, to add to the stress, if you get a game over, you can't play the game again. Yes, so I had to go through at least three copies of this game, meaning that I've paid more than just $100 alone. You guys are lucky you have me. They know my Sonic skills are beyond great, so they don't want me beating this thing, showing you guys every little bit. So I can't really get to the instant shields or anything. Surprisingly, this game has its own version of Marvel Zone, but again, this runs into the same thing I was talking about. Something original, please. I mean, come on now. We all know how hard Marvel Zone is, and oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with you guys. I didn't get the actual game. Come on now. Don't think of me as the great savior of everyone who has gotten the one. It is the one. The one. Don't need a gun to get respect because I'm just freaking messing around with you guys. But seriously, I'm excited for the game. And honestly, if there was a demo to be released, I'd be excited for it. But honestly, if we were to get a demo... People would just crack all the little things that are hidden within the game, so, yeah. <laughs> Am I saying no demo? That's not really what I'm saying. I kind of do want a demo, but, you know, it's just very confusing stuff. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Mr. Porbershack signing out. Peace. And... You don't stop drawing because you get old. You get old because you stop drawing. So keep drawing. Anyways, see you guys later.